Hello YouTube, Brent Peeler here with you. Coming to you from Cebu City. I'm here at the, what do you call this? Eon Centennial Soho Hotel here in Cebu City. Uh, gonna be here about six more nights. Uh, finally made it up here to the seventh floor. Check out this pool. Thought I'd give you all a little walk through. If y'all are ever in Cebu City and thinking about a uh, pretty nice place to stay. Well, this is this is not bad, and it's it's pretty affordable. About thirty bucks a night. Beautiful views, folks. Beautiful. That's the hillside. I'll try to get a, a picture of it during the during the daytime too, so you can see the see the difference. This is going to be the mountainside here. Uh, but yeah, this this. View is absolutely awesome. A nice little pool. They had a nice gym too. Like I said, gonna be here six days and got here last night, but got here about nine o'clock, so uh, didn't have time to come check out the swimming pool. So finally making the rounds, and it's got a it's got kind of a, a track where you can check out the the, the view of the city, kind of a 360. You can go all the way around this place. Just look at that, folks. Beautiful. I'm not a fan of big cities. Uh, Cebu City is a hell of a lot better than Manila, in my opinion. Uh, but it's still a big city, folks. So, but just a absolute beautiful view. That looks like that looks like a big ass generator there. I hope that's the case because there's a tropical storm uh, bearing down. I don't think it's a typhoon yet, but it, there is a uh, one out there developing. It should be here about two in the morning, uh, but I think it's just going to kind of clip Cebu. I don't think it's really going to hit us too awful bad. I think it'll stay out towards Leyte or it's definitely supposed to hit, but. We're not going to, hopefully, we're not going to get the, the full impact of it. Here's some more of Cebu City. And like I say, this track, this track just kind of takes you all the way around. There's several hospitals here. There's the Chong Hospital. Uh, we, we went to the uh, St. Vincent Hospital today and had some, she had some blood work done. She's kind of a pre-op deal. She's going to go in, I think, Monday. 27th have something removed under her eye or both eyes or or something just a cosmetic deal it's nothing to be worried about I ain't for any of that cosmetic crap I think natural is better but she had this deal planned way before she met me so I'm just along for the ride folks I told her I'm going to embrace it. When we get into the doctor, I'm going to tell her, yeah. <laughs> like old Rodney Carrington said, yeah, just do something with her face there. Do something with her nose. Do something with that back end, and I'll pick her up on Tuesday. When she sees this video, she may not appreciate that. But like I said, I'm not into all that. But uh, I just kind of agreed to come come along for the come along for the ride spend a few days here in Cebu City. About the max I'd like to spend here. Uh, gonna be here a week in total, like I said. And, uh, that's not too bad, folks. That's, Cebu City's a good change of pace, but at the same time, I'll be ready to get out of here as soon as possible. We'll check out this pool one more time. Starting to sprinkle and drizzle a little bit, which is much, much needed. It hadn't rained here in the Philippines in forever, folks. So you really need the rain. Uh, so everybody's kind of excited about this typhoon headed our way because it will bring some rain. Floods will be an issue. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully we've got everything we need. I went and st stored up, stocked up on uh, water. I got us two gallons of water. And so <laughs> we would have water tomorrow regardless. And like I say, they... It looked like they had a big generator. Look at that pool, folks. I'll get a shot of that uh, gym before I get out of here. Let y'all let y'all see it. But like I say, this is just a, a gorgeous view. There, there's there's cranes uh, 
all the way around us, folks. So there's new new buildings going up everywhere, and just a just pretty nice place. I will say this: the the rooms are kind of plain Jane, and the Wi-Fi absolutely well. There is no Wi-Fi, uh, and I've read that in several reviews since we've been here. We both uh, had to get out the old G cash and buy some more load for our phones because there is absolutely no help when it comes to to Wi-Fi. So we're just you know using our data. Uh, don't do no good to complain. You know it's out of their hands. They could, they could, they could say that in the <laughs> in the go to when you're booking. It says you got good Wi-Fi in every room, but that's not the case at all, folks. So keep that in mind if you're needing to if you're needing to be online. This is not this is not the place for you. But if they fix that, this would be a be a pretty awesome spot. Anyway, I thought I'd show you that. And I'm gonna head on back. I'll draw, I'll stop off at that gym and give you a shot of that. Okay, folks. Here's the little gym. Looks like pretty, pretty decent little gym for a motel. Say so this is this hotel's 28 floors. We're we're on the 27th. Go ahead and hit this up button. Yeah, we're on the 27th. This is actually the seventh floor. Uh, but yep, got your treadmills, got your little bicycles, got some weights and uh, barbells, a little bench press, a little incline. Pretty much everything you need to get by while you're, while you're on vacation, folks. Okay, here we go, folks. I'm in room 2722. And like I said, it's just a plain Jane room. Uh, no fridge. Uh, don't have hardly any place to put your stuff, but it's pretty much all you need. So, got your little closet space here. That's your shiver. This is like the only the second hotel or a room that I've been in in Southeast Asia that don't have a tank tenderizer. It's, and I don't know how, why them hadn't caught on in the West, but they're handy as hell. I wasn't a fan when I first got here, but I'm totally a fan now. that looked this view. But for some reason, there's a, there's a no access to balcony. There's a big ass balcony there, but no access. But there's really no place to put your shit, so we just got our shit thrown in this corner. It's definitely lived in, but oh well. That's a little tour, folks. Folks, I forgot to tell you, this is actually a mall, and it's got a medical clinic where she's having her procedure in the same in the same hotel. So that's pretty cool. Got your supermarket downstairs. Got your eating places. Got chai tuck, uh, chai tea. That's that's my go-to, folks. Little mobile phone deal. Get your Mr. Donuts and other stuff, other stores, shops upstairs. But I'm gonna head on back to the pool and show y'all a little, show you the view from the daytime. Hello, YouTube. Brent Peter here with you. Coming to you from the Eon Centennial Soho Hotel. This is day three. Figured I'd give you a view of this place in the daytime. Give you a, a night, a night, night view last night but I'll show you the daytime view just a beautiful 360 degree view folks Still just a, another gorgeous day we missed that tropical depression uh, we got a little rain out of we got a little rain out of the deal but that's about it uh, no severe weather uh, there you got Chong's hospital and I forgot to tell you this this Eon hotel 
Uh, I don't know how many floors is actual. Mo it's 27 or 28 floors tall, and I'm not sure how many of that's the actual motel. But this is a mall. It's a uh, office uh, spaces. Uh, even the clinic that she's having her little procedure done is here in this building. That's that's pretty much the reason we chose this this place. Like I said, there's Chong's Hospital there, and right there is uh, St. Vincent's Hospital. That's where we just, they told her just uh, walk over to one of the hospitals and tell them you need labs. So that's what we did yesterday. Got that knocked out out of the way. Uh, we're gonna pick up the results sometime today. Just It was just a walk in and they, they handled it right there on the spot. Didn't even know she was coming. I thought this is gonna be a wreck, but uh, everything went smooth, took about an hour. Um, then we proceeded on to the casino. Uh, you, you can see, see if I can zoom in. See that Robinson's? That's what they call the Fuentes Circle. It's just like a big roundabout with all kinds of, it's kind of a famous circle. There's a couple of casinos down there. I went and donated them uh, uh, about $100. Uh, Tarina, she won about $100. So if she would have just left me at the house, we'd have come out all right. But, uh, like I say, uh, she won, I lost, and that's that. <laughs> Took me a lot longer to lose it, uh, one peso at a time. Pretty much all the machines were peso machines. And of course, you could max bet and all that stuff, but uh, like I say, I didn't do so hot. This is the mountainside that I was telling you all about. Just beautiful views, folks. And we'll walk on over here show you the show you the seaside seaside part of it and like I say we just did a 360 degree loop there or, and walked around this little track just just a pretty nice place to chill like I said no Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi sucks so keep that in mind and they keep acting like it's gonna be fixed the next day or we'll have it fixed tomorrow but according to the reviews that shit don't ever get fixed so. Uh, I read reviews as far as uh, four years back that's bitching about the Wi-Fi. And when I say no Wi-Fi, I mean no Wi-Fi, like absolutely zero. We'll walk on over here. I'll show you the seaside. But yeah, like I say, this is day three. And it's just, it's, it's just been a nice, chill vibe. We hadn't got no hurry about doing anything. Uh, like I say, casino, little little lab work yesterday, and then chilling by the pool. Uh, enjoyed the rain last night. Had this big ass generator on standby, but didn't need it. And when I talk about this city's booming, folks, it's uh, it's coming along. You can see cranes all over the place. There's, I don't know if you can see them. There's three cranes over there. They say you can tell a lot by the economy about how many how many cranes you see and whatnot. But then you got typical Philippines housing right across the street. Look at that. That looks more cranes, more buildings going up, more buildings. There's the seaside. That's the Mokton Bridge or one of them. There's three bridges that go from Cebu City to Mock Town, that's, that's the little S-curve bridge. Uh, more buildings over there with cranes going up. Just just a thriving, thriving little city, folks. And just, it's, it's, I don't know, to me it's a whole lot, whole lot better being here than it would be, say, Manila. It's still, I mean, you can, you can, nav Manila, hell, you can drive for two hours and still be in Manila. This, you can, you can drive for two hours and it feels like you're still in Cebu City. But you're actually in a, what they call other cities, or same as Manila, but you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you might not get over 40 miles an hour the whole time you're in them two hours, but it's still a, to me it's a lot better than, than, than the Manila deal. Leaving Robinson's mom. Going for a little stroll, folks. This is that Fuentes Circle I was telling you about. It's got a nice little park right there in the center of it.
more buildings going up, folks. We're just, I don't know, about three blocks from our hotel. Pretty good place to chill. Actually got sidewalks that you can walk on. There's your jeepneys. Transportation. I think we're going to head on over to the hospital, get her results. And then probably, I don't know if we'll go to Ayala Mall tonight or what we're going to do. Figure something out. We hadn't even been swimming yet, so we'll figure it out, folks. Made her back to the hotel. Got a little rush hour, little rush hour traffic going on. I'm out here getting my nicotine fixed. About to head on up to the pool. Thank <laughs> you.